My dear friends in Christ, brother priests and deacons, sister religious, all my brothers and sisters in our Lord, in our first reading today, we hear about this oil of gladness that the Lord gives. We hear about this oil of gladness that the Lord gives. And these words of the prophet Isaiah, of course, are a foreshadowing of the anointing of the Holy Spirit that we receive. For it is through the Holy Spirit that we are filled with this gladness of the Lord. Let us reflect a bit on this anointing of the spirit of gladness that we receive in the sacraments of baptism and confirmation. And if we were to wonder, you know, well, what would this look like? Oh, maybe it might be described in the terms of Father Edward's smile. <laughs> or perhaps the sense of humor of Father Rob Yurkovich. <laughs> but to understand how this spirit gives us gladness, how this spirit gives us joy, I would like to reflect a bit on a common human experience, just something to help us understand this better. Now all of us here today share something in common. At one time or another we have felt lonely, and we don't like to feel that way. But it's a common human experience. And what do we do when we feel lonely? Well, we tend to try and fill it up somehow. There's all kinds of things we might do to distract ourselves. Uh, we might get immersed in, in media of, of some sort. Um, all kinds of noise or uh, some kinds of pleasures or, or whatever it might be that we try and fill up that loneliness with. And I think if we're honest with ourselves, it never really works very well. And we might forget the loneliness for a time. We might be distracted from some of those feelings for a while. But the loneliness does come back. And I would like to suggest today that this experience of loneliness has a prophetic value. It proclaims something to us. It proclaims something to us of the mystery of God and the importance of God in our lives. Because what the experience of loneliness proclaims is that there has to be something more. The experience of loneliness proclaims that there has to be something more. We might try and fill it up for a while, we might try and distract ourselves, and the loneliness comes back because there has to be something more. And we as followers of Jesus Christ, know exactly what that something more is. That something more is a deep relationship with God. Only that will satisfy. And in this side of heaven, we are likely to have this experience of loneliness from time to time, for even though we know the Lord, 
we also know that we're pilgrims on the way. And while we already have Christ, and while we already have faith, we have not fully arrived at our destination of the heavenly Jerusalem. And so this side of heaven, we're sort of in this state of already but not yet. We have already been filled with the oil of gladness, that gift of the Holy Spirit that is given to us in our baptism and our confirmation, that gift of the Holy Spirit that unites us with the Son and the Father, that shares with us this divine life. But it's not yet been fully realized. So we live in this tension of having received the Holy Spirit, having received the oil of gladness, the joy that a relationship with the Lord can bring. But it's not been brought to completion in us yet. And so it's important for us to have this experience proclaimed that we know we need God. Because let's face it, on our pilgrim journey, it's very easy just to take a step or two off that path. Or take our eyes off of Jesus. Or start gazing around at other things that might look attractive to us. And forget about the deepest and truest love of our hearts. And so the experience of loneliness proclaims that we need the oil of gladness. We need this gift of the Holy Spirit that unites us with the Son and the Father that we may share in divine life and have abundant and abiding joy. And so, I'd like to make a few suggestions that may help us along the way whenever we have this experience. Maybe you felt that way today, and if you've not felt that way today, Someday you will. And you will again. So when you feel lonely, don't run away from those feelings. Don't run away from them. Don't try to fill them up with other kinds of things. Don't run away from those feelings. That's the first suggestion. The second suggestion is to allow yourself to feel lonely and let that remind you of the desire that you have for God. Don't flee the feelings. Don't try to fill them up with something that's empty. Just feel them and let that be a reminder to you of the deepest desire of your heart, your desire for God. Thirdly, when you're reminded of this desire for God, let that desire start bursting into flame. Let that desire for God start bursting into flame, where you will not rest until you have Him. And then realize you already do. The 
Holy Spirit has been given to you. You have been anointed with the oil of gladness. You have been united with the Father and the Son, and the Trinity whom you love and whom you adore is ever with you. Use the feelings of loneliness to enkindle your desire for God and remind you of the gift that he has given to you. That you may cling to him with undivided hearts. And I wish to offer an additional suggestion to the priests, who very soon will be renewing the promises of their ordination. Not only, brother priests, may this experience enkindle your desire to be one with the Lord, But may it kindle your desire to be with Jesus all the way to Calvary, that you may long and yearn to lay down your lives for the salvation of the people entrusted to your care. Imagine the union you have with Jesus when you lay down your lives for the sake of the people, for their salvation entrusted to your care. What a blessed union you are called to, one in which you are not alone, one in which this self-emptying of your life brings forth ever deeper union with the Lord and fruitfulness for the salvation of his people.